Hey, alright guys, well welcome back to this part two is it to W Bean Sons October auction. In this one we're going to have a look at some of the performance in the retro and the classic cars. And there's even a record breaking car in there as well. So we'll get in, we'll have a look about, see what there is to see. A30 Touring. What a stunning car in red. This one's manual and full leather. Very clean interior. Showing the mileage. Can you see that? 186,000 mile. If you don't cut on them BBS wheels. This one's the little four cylinder engine. And the wings and everything look alright. You look solid enough. Okay, price on this BMW A30 Touring is four to five thousand pound. I've got this Mark 4 Golf GDI. It's a clean car. Plus three car rows. What clean interior. Showing 100, can you see that guys? 114,000 mile. And it's just as clean in the back. Pretty car all. <laughs> cool car. Running on those 18 inch alloys. This Golf GTI has had one previous owner. Definitely don't see many about in this condition. It looks very clean and presentable under here. Obviously it's got a little bit of breathe out the top of the rock or Ramier filter. And has had extensive engine modifications and has run approximately 300 brake horsepower. And these are a bit of a rarity. You don't see many of these now. An Alpha 164. This is a 24 valve V6 version. And the standard 16 inch alloys. Can you see that there? Designed by Pin and Farina. Another lovely clean car in here as well guys, full leather. And we see the Alpha logo in the seat, can you see that? Just clean car, digi miles, can show you the miles. This Alpha has had two previous owners from you. See this one is the V6 24 valve engine model. See V6 24 valve. And the wings don't look too bad. Tiny bit on the slam panel but snout. It's nothing. The guy price is fifteen hundred to two and a half thousand pounds. Right guys, so we're in the auction hall now. We'll have a look around at some of the vehicles that's on offer in here. 
Another bit of a rarity. There's this Lancia. So a bit of history on this little Lancia. It's on a few historic runs here. Over here, Lancia Owners Club by the looks of it. You definitely don't see many of these. Very clean interior. Showing 87,000 rail. Can you see that, guys? So this Lancia, its current owner, has had it for 25 years. So the guy price on this Lancia Beta Spider is six to eight thousand pound. Up next, we've got this cool looking Type Three VW. So we'll beat everyone's taste. This VW Type Three has been a show car, and it's actually been a show winning car. Obviously, it's left hand drive. For the cameras picking that up, where it's all metal flake. Phil on the roof. Can you see that, guys? It's cool. And on the bootleg here. It's all pinstriped. Awesome car. Clean red interior. Seats covered. If you look, if you can see on that steering wheel, that's the same colour as what the roof's been painted in. Awesome. Showing 39,000 mile. A cool car. A roof counter up on the top of the dash here. Day price ten to fifteen thousand pounds. We've got this VW Sharapo GTS model. Very clean in here, guys. Showing, I don't know if you can see that, it's a bit dark. Sorry, it's 80, 88, nearly 89,000 miles. There's no where the seat posters are very little. And probably clean in the back there too. Should up with GD. Standard steel wheels. This video used to rock war. It's had one owner from new. Spent some of its life in the Isle of Man. It's the Isle of Man plate. So this is rock war. It's the 8 valve version. The wings are all very clean. Very clean, tidy car. Guy price is six to eight thousand pound. We've got this little mini here. This tidy little car. You see red on the stripes, silver stripes on the silver roof, silver door mirrors. So this mini Cooper Sport is one of the last ones to be produced, and it's a very rare Y registration. This Mini's had three previous owners from new. This one's running on 13 inch Mini Light style alloys. I'm sorry guys, it's a bit dark in here. Just contrasting leather interior. And it's showing you can't really see that, but it's 27,000 mile. And the center gauge is in there as well. 
Cool little car. And the guide price is 14 to 18 thousand pound. We've got this Triumph TR7. Looks quite tidy one. And standard wheels. Aussie black interior. I suppose some of them had the tartan trim pattern. Showing 37 mile, 1000 mile. You can see that guy, he's 37,000 mile. Obviously, do your own checks at that. This one has a large history file. Definitely don't see too many of these around now. the two litre eight valve one obviously two SU carbs and the wings look very good it's a new master solder on there as well so it has had some attention they were the same engine as what was in the triumph dolomite and a few other triumphs yeah it was in wings very good Another cool car. So the guy price on this TR7 is ten to fourteen thousand pound. Up next, this awesome Mercedes Pagoda. This Mercedes is a six on the one. And the wings look quite clean. Good on the engine bay. Nice and tidy in here. Mileage there. Showing 2000 mile, but obviously, do your own checks at that, guys. So, Mercedes is the 230 SL model. price on this Mercedes Pagoda is 50 to 60 thousand pound I've got this Escort Cosworth cool car moving clean in here this full leather Car rows obviously. And the center cages that shown eleven thousand mile. Obviously, do your checks out that guys. And on those eighteen inch alloys. Legendary Cosworth motor there. Looks quite original, this guy's. Factory sealer, factory spot welds. Cool. Okay, put this on this Escort Cosworth. It's 55 to 65 thousand pound. Next up, got the Stun Mach 2 Astra GTE. It's a clean, tidy little car. And clean interior. Clean car in there, guys. Show one. Oh, you can't see the dark, but it's 43 thousand mile. Very clean, tidy car, this one. This 
Back to Astra. It's unbelievable. It's had one family owner from you. The mileage of 43,000 mile is correct. Obviously, if you can tell by the, the boot deck, Al, this is a 16 valve one. Running on the standard factory alloys. Again, folks, always a legendary 16 valve motor. Bit dark in there, guys. But the inner wings do look alright, like look canny. As you expect from the edge of the car, but still a very well presented little car. And the guy price is 18 to 22,000 pounds. Look at this cool Range Rover. A stunning colour. I'm not sure if that's coming out on the camera, guys. I've seen one that before. Obviously, as you'd expect with a Range Rover, full leather, very clean. This one's obviously a four door version, as you can see. This one's shown, if you can see that, guys, it's 139,000 mile. A little bit blurry there. And on its colour coded Range Rover alloys. This one's a 3.9 V8. The guy price on this Range Rover is 10 to 14 thousand pounds. I've got this Willys Jeep. Proper Jeep. It's an awesome little thing. What a cool little wheel. Presented a little cheap this. Showing oh, really. 19,000 mile. Obviously, take that as it is, guys. Feet of this age. And no doubt with its history. It's original. Four cylinder motor in there. Very tidy on the inner wings. The guy price on the Willys Jeep is fourteen to sixteen thousand pound. This is stunning. Sorry, it's a little bit dark in the corner there. The stunning smiley front transit. All this on the front here is all proper sign writing. It's not decals. It's all proper sign writing. Cool. Some mileage on this smiley front transit. See that, guys? You see? 72,000 mile. This one's the step side bed, or the flare side I think they were called. It's the kind of price on this transit step side, it's five to seven thousand pound. Right guys, that's it from this October visit to WB and Sons. Been a cracking entry, that Astro was unbelievable. Record break and sale price for that car. Again guys, if you've got any vehicles that you want to sell, or want to buy a classic or a retro or an unusual car you can touch these guys down at wb and sons i'll put a link to the website in the description if you could subscribe to the channel please guys there's 95 percent of the viewers not subscribed so if you do that that would give us a, a massive help for the channel and also can you check if you've got the notification bell switched on and that will tell you next time i'll put a video up all right guys <laughs> thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one cheers guys <laughs>